<laughs> hello 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 guys welcome back to my youtube channel welcome to another video on my channel today's video is totally different it's it's, it's a tutorial it's a makeup tutorial i created this look which i call my go-to look uh this is my look that i do when i when i'm rushing not really when i'm rushing like it's it's just my look that i create when i'm gonna go out for lunch when i don't feel like going all out like creating cut fees and, and all those things this is the look that i just go for even when i just like okay let me just gonna lift my mood let me just go to the mall and i'm like okay, let me just do my face this is the look that i just do and i i i achieved this look under i think under 45 minutes to be honest with you guys so i created this look for you guys i'm going to be showing you guys the products that i'll be using on this look while creating this look and yeah i hope you're gonna love it yeah uh, my name is ulunge Logosi. if you are a new subscriber welcome welcome to my channel i hope you love it here i hope you stay and you hit that notification button and i hope you like this um content i'm creating for you guys if you're a returning subscriber what up matchless gang <laughs> what up to the gang that is unmatched thank you guys for coming back thank you for sticking by me all the time i see the love in the comments i appreciate it so and i thoroughly enjoy creating content for you guys and thank you th thank you guys for sharing with your friends uh my videos and my link for them to watch guys, uh let's not forget we are on the road to 1k subscribers i think we are sitting on 750 something subscribers so short and like 200 and something more subscribers please share 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 with your friends with your family members your lovers and everybody else <laughs> <laughs> so we can reach that 1k subscribers i'm definitely gonna have a giveaway for you guys i've got so much makeup to give away like so yeah let's just get into the video i hope you love it i hope you enjoy it so much before i forget guys on this video i am going to be doing a voiceover i was talking the whole time while i was creating this video and i didn't realize that my mic had a problem so i'm just gonna do a voiceover while i while i while i do my makeup on the product and everything else but i'm just gonna list everything on the description box and where you can buy it and where you can find it so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys so much let's just jump straight to it i'm gonna use the rose glow uh, illuminating primer from revlon um i i normally use it because my skin is um very oily but during winter i get dehydrated so i just use that to hydrate my skin i'm basically going to apply this primer all over my face Uh, to highlight my skin, I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna go in with the Scarlet Hill uh, liquid highlighter in a shade dark. I'm going to uh, apply it at the highest point of my face, like my cheekbones, uh, my forehead, my nose, where I basically highlight my uh, face. So I'm just gonna apply it there and blend it nicely before I apply foundation. Now that I've highlighted my face, I'm going to go in with my ultimate, ultimate favorite foundation, the Revlon Color Stay Foundation in a shade Mahogany. This is a matte foundation and guys, it lasts the whole day. It doesn't move. It doesn't shift on your face. It stays there. So I'm just going to apply the foundation over my face with a brush. The reason why i'm starting with my skin guys i feel like it works out very faster like it's quicker to you finish your makeup like 
right just after you done with your skin basically because all is left is just for you to do your eyebrows your eyes and stick on your lashes and then you're good to go so that's why i start with my skin Now I'm going to use uh, my Revlon Colorstay uh, Concealer in the shade Chestnut to highlight my face. Uh, I'm just going to highlight my face uh, under my eyes, uh, my chin area where I highlighted with the liquid liner. Sorry, where I highlighted with the uh, liquid highlighter. Now I'm coming in with my damp beauty blender to blend out uh, the concealer that I used to highlight uh, under my eyes and the rest of my face. So I'm just going to blend with the damp beauty blender. Make sure that your beauty, beauty blender is damp so that it can blend out the concealer very nicely. Now I'm coming in with um, a very light concealer, which is in the shade uh, 20 from Maybelline Fit Me. Uh, just under my eyes, I just want that highlight to pop. I just want my under eyes to be very, very bright. And I'm going to blend it out. To set uh, my highlights, I'm going to use a mixture of uh, my Banana Makeup Revolution uh, powder and my Translucent powder from Yardley. Um, I, mix it, I mix both of them because I don't want the other one to be too yellow. Um, so I mix with the other one, the other one that is translucent. So I'm just going to use the, the same beauty blender that I was using to highlight to set my highlights with the powder. And then I'm going to use my contour stick. In a shade uh, NW60 from MAC to contour my face. I want that face to be sculpted to the T. And then I'm going to blend it out uh, with an angle brush. Now I'm going to blend my nose. Uh, when I'm blending um, my nose, uh, when I'm blending my contour on my nose, I'm going to use a small angle brush. While I was blending my contour on my face, I was using a big contour brush. So now I'm using a small angled brush to blend out. Just gonna come back with my beauty blender just to blend out uh, nicely my contour so it won't be too harsh and then i'm just gonna lift my contour below my cheeks i'm just gonna add a little bit of powder just to lift my contour under my under my cheeks Now that my face is all highlighted and contoured up, I'm just going to come in with a powder, which is my skin tone 
uh, which is NW, N, NW45 from MAC, Studio Fix Powder NW45 from MAC. I'm just going to apply it all over my face just to balance everything out, just to bring in that warmth also and just to remove that ashiness on my face. And I'm also going to apply it on my eyebrows because I'm also setting my eyebrows to, to draw them. So I'm going to set everything with a setting spray. This is a normal setting spray just to set makeup. Uh, so now I'm coming in again with uh, the same brush that I used to um, uh, contour my nose to just um, brush up my eyebrows so that I can just um, get them to be really, really matte because I'm very oily. So I'm just going to brush up my eyebrows with the spoolie at the back of the eyebrow pencil. The eyebrow pencil I'm using is from Rimmel. It's an amazing pencil. I've had it for like, I think a month now and it's doing an amazing work. So I'm just going to draw in my eyebrows using that pencil until my brows are, are, are what they want. Like until my brows are just perfectly done. I have also a, a eyebrow tutorial on my IGTV. You can check it out. It's a full detailed I, 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 eyebrow tutorial, but I'm going to do an updated one soon, 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 soon. I'm going to clean up uh, my eyebrows with um, chestnut concealer, the Revlon Colorstay Chestnut Concealer. I'm just going to clean up my eyebrows with it at the bottom. And then at the top, I'm going to use, um, and I'm using an angle brush, uh, a very thin angle brush to shape my eyebrows. And then at the top, I'm going to use um, a different brush, which is a blending brush uh, and a concealer in a shade NC50, which is... Uh, my skin tone. Before I clean my eyebrows at the top, I'm gonna apply the same concealer that I was using to shape my eyebrows. Uh, at the ball of my eyes just to blend it out and even out my eyeball uh, to prep for eyeshadow After cleaning the top of my eyebrows, I'm just going to blend uh, with my brush that I used to clean my, that I used to blend my eyeballs with it. I'm just going to use to blend out everything uh, with a highlight on my forehead, just to blend everything out nicely to be evened out. And then when all of that is done, I'm going to uh, sit my eyebrows with an eyebrow gel. This is a clear eyebrow gel from Essence. I normally use it. I've been using it for the longest time. And it's very, very affordable. So I'm just going to set my eyebrows nicely with it. Now I'm coming in with my P. Lewis eyeshadow base in room number two to uh, prep for my eyeshadow. I'm just going to use a little bit of it because a little goes a long way with this eyeshadow base. Just gonna blend it out nicely with the same brush I was using to blend uh, the, my eyeball earlier on. Now that my eyeball is ready, all prepped up nicely, I am going to uh, come in with an eyeshadow palette. This is a Modern Dolls eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna be using that shade and I'm using a a blending brush uh, from Morphe. Uh, I'm just going to use that brush only per se on my eyes. I'm just going to pack that eyeshadow, that orangey, burnt orange eyeshadow 
uh, all over my eyeball. I'm just going to pack it nicely before I blend it out. Just going to pack it all over my eyeball. And my eyeball is quite huge, so I'm just going to pack it nicely, give myself some time, and then just blend it out uh, nicely. When blending out my eyeshadow, I'm also going to come in with this um, uh, very light yellowy um, eyeshadow from Morphe um, in, a, in a palette called Heat just to blend it out also with it, just to transition nicely the bottom of my eye, I, I, the, the bottom of my eyebrows and the, and the orange eyeshadow. And then in the inner corner of my eyes, I'm going to come in with this uh, whitish color. It's like an off-white color from Modern Dolls. I'm just using matte colors only because I want this look to be very subtle, but at the same time, very flawless and very nice. Uh, now I'm going to come in with a liquid eyeliner. This is a black liquid eyeliner from Wet n Wild. I'm just going to draw a line over my over my uh, lash line just to prepare for my lashes. So when I stick them, they just stay on that line that I've drawn in on my lash line. Next on, I'm going to stick on my eyelashes. They've already been prepped. I've already put glue on them. I'm just going to use my hands just to stick them on. And also, I do have an IGTV uh, on my Instagram, a tutorial on how I apply lashes. I'm going to come in with this Revlon Sofies uh, mascara to um, put on my lashes just to blend in my natural lashes with the fake lashes i'm coming in with this black vinyl eyeliner from revlon this is my ultimate favorite eyeliner also So guys, like I am almost done and I'm, all, I'm already looking like a snack. <laughs> so I'm just going to use this Essence uh, Mascara to apply at the bottom of my lashes. This mascara is just bomb. It works like magic for my bottom lashes. I specifically use it for my bottom lashes. I absolutely love it. Now I'm putting blusher on my cheekbones. I'm using Burnt Pepper Blusher from MAC. I love this blusher so much. I absolutely love it. I love how it makes my cheeks look so rosy and I don't use highlighter. I am done. So I just finished setting my makeup with a normal spray. Now I'm using a matte spray from Maybelline. This is a matte spray just to lock in everything and for everything to stay matte and stay into place. And guys, one thing about me, I will spray my face. I love setting spray. <laughs> so I'm going to apply this lip liner. It's a chestnut lip liner, an old time fave. I've been using this lip liner for almost four years now, if not five years. Um, I love this lip liner so much, especially when I'm when I'm using it for my nude colors. Uh, I'm going to apply it uh, with, I'm going to pair it with a lipstick, a retro matte lipstick uh, called Lady Be Good. I'm just going to have a matte lip today for a change. No gloss, but I'm sure I'm going to put gloss later. 
<laughs> After applying my lipstick, I'm just going to blend it nicely using my lips because it's a matte color. I'm just going to blend it nicely and then until I'm satisfied with the way it's blended. And then, ta-da, guys, we are done. Yay. Thank you, thank you again, guys, for watching. I really hope you love this video, and I really hope you're going to press that thumbs up button so that you can like my content and please please if you subscribe to my channel and you are not the notification you are not the notification gang please make sure that you you see that bell next to the subscribe button hit that notification bell so that every time i post up content you don't miss out you'll be the first person to know so that you can just see what i get up to every now and again i've got so much content for you guys I'm actually I would post content literally every day but I don't want to bombard you guys so I'm just gonna give you like some time to enjoy you know that content that I'm creating for you guys please like comment subscribe share with your friends don't forget we're on the road to 1k subscribers I love you guys so much God bless